What up, what up, what up? Bankroll Tim, bat it up. Bat it up, customs. 96, Capel SS. Front end is done. Fully aligned. Got them tubular uppers, tubular lowers, all cleaned up. The best I could. Got the sway bar links in it. Got the steering components on it. Got the adjustable uh, adjustment sleeves, tie rod sleeves. Then Moog in their inner and outers. Booyah. Alignment is done. Fully done. Car was sitting down. Only got like an inch and a half of wheel gap. Excellent. Oh. The back. Starting to do the back. So, like I said, I got to frame notch it. Which, again, with all this nasty ass undercoating. So, I got to clean all this off. But I already had the wheel on here. Wheel sticks out a little bit. Like I said, for that 8 inch lip, 24 by 12. Uh, 13 overall, I'm taking three and three quarter inches off of each side, putting the adjustable lower buckets on there, getting rid of that stock ass sway bar, it's getting anti-roll, getting coilovers, frame notch, the full rail, about an inch I'll go in, the full rail, get as far up here as I can, get as far back here as I can, so that way later on if the car was to get sold or anything like that, and somebody wanted to put sixes, or if he wanted to put sixes on it, boom, you can switch right up to sixes. So that's that. Of course, cut the exhaust off. It's in my way. I gotta put the cross brace across there for the coilovers and for the anti-roll. So I'll be able to get a good video of putting the anti-roll on this. The only thing that sucks is cleaning this thing up. I mean, they undercoated everything, like I said before. What do we got here for shocks? Eh? Regular ass. Regular ass shocks. And there's the compressor to ruin my video. <clears throat> uh, I'm over here getting it in. Uh, late Monday night. I had some other shit I was going to talk about with the damn compressor. Let me see if I can run back in real fast. Turn it off. The other day, there's the new switch I put on. Had to put that on. I know it was only like 20 bucks for the switch, but the time I had to take to put it on there. But yeah, again, I know, same shit over and over and over, but I got that's a fat ass lift. Eight inches lift. 13 inches overall. It's wide as hell. Got a pretty big tire on it too. So that's where we're at on the 96. And Paddle SS, I'm about to tear the ass end apart tomorrow. Uh, chop it up, narrow it, tuck it. Tuck it as much as I can. It will be tugged though. At least a uh, quarter lip to wheel lip. At least a tire in there. All right, y'all. Thank you, Appreciate y'all. I'm out.